play the Sanford International teeing off tomorrow at the Minnehaha Country Club. And Mark Ovidan joining us live from the course now before some of that rain makes its way in there. How's it going there, Mark? It's going great, Sam. Thanks for asking. Uh, Phil just actually texted me a little while ago, told us to watch out about 6 o'clock, maybe for some rain and lightning. So our last couple of live shots, we might move away from the course. We'll see. It's been distracting, actually, for Adam Huntimer and I. We, we keep watching all these great shots hit into the 18th green here at Minnehaha Country Club, which will be the finishing hole, of course, on Sunday. And they'll have the pin in the toughest spot up on the top. Uh, that's no hill for a climber, literally, for somebody like Bernhard Langer, who is here. He's the all-time leader in wins on the Champions Tour with 66, or 46, and he's 66 years old. He's an amazing guy. We had a chance to sit down and talk a little bit yesterday, and we were talking about the local guy, Ryan Jansa, who is going to be playing in his first Champions Tour event tomorrow. He tees off at 12:18 on hole number 10. He's been working really hard to get ready for this. And uh, nobody knows any better than Bernhard Langer what it's like to play in front of a, a vocal home crowd. He's won tournaments all over the world, and he's excited for Ryan and wants him to soak in every minute of this experience. Yeah, it's, uh, I don't know if that's his dream, but I, you know, it's, it's always great for somebody that's just uh, been watching us on TV uh, to think, man, what would it be like to play a PGA Tour event, whether it's the regular PGA Tour or the Champions Tour or whatever it may be. And then to finally, you know, get that chance, whether it's by invitation or by qualification, uh, it's, it's got to be an amazing feeling. And I'm sure it's kind of nerve wracking and intimidating all at once, but uh, very exciting, most of all. I think Ryan can handle all of that. He, he kind of loves the crowd and he's actually encouraging everybody to come out and be part of Ryan's Rowdies tomorrow, Saturday and Sunday. There's no cut, so he plays all three days. And if he finishes in the top 10, he qualifies for next week's tournament at Pebble Beach. So that's really the goal for Ryan Jansa. As for Bernhard Langer, he'd like to win number 47 on the Champions Tour. Again, as I said, he's the all-time leader, passing Hale Irwin. He's 66 years old. He told me yesterday that he doesn't see any end in sight. As long as his health is good, he's going to keep on playing. He loves being out here with all of his buddies that he's played with over the years on the PGA Tour. They're all friends, and they kind of pull for each other to some extent. So we've got all five, or four, uh, we've got five defending champions back. Langer hasn't won this event, so kind of watch for him. Steve Stricker's won it twice. We'll hear from him a little bit later uh, in the 5.30 hour. And uh, Darren Clark is back, and Rocco Mediate as well. So it's going to be a great field. They tee off, I think, 10.44 is the first tee time tomorrow. Ryan Jansa tees off at 12.18 on hole number 10. So. Lots of exciting golf this weekend for sure. Back to you, Sam.